and a jolly good bright sunny morning from Hertfordshire just outside the small Hertfordshire village of Purton and uh, today's just a, a shortish walk from this village to the town of Hitchin. Now there's a number of number of ways you can walk um, one of which is straight up this road not ideal no footpath and I uh, certainly wouldn't recommend it uh, and I certainly wouldn't re recommend it on a cycle either but uh, there are some alternatives uh, one of which is to head over through the wreck over that way and uh, down what's known as Hambridge Way where you can walk towards West Mill and then into Hitchin uh, along the Bedford Road the A600 uh, the other alternative is this way, which is a bridle path which runs parallel to the road there and through Orton Head Common, past Orton Head Spring and out into Hitchin that way. Uh, whichever way you decide to take from this point, it's roughly about an hour and a quarter, an hour and a half, maybe longer if you stop along the way. Uh, pros and cons, uh, this way, is probably the muddiest way as the other way down Hambridge way over there is uh, well I'll say a cycle track it's uh, it's a kind of a muddy cycle track as opposed to a tarmac one but ne nevertheless on the whole it's uh, reasonably good footing and on the whole fairly dry particularly once the winter rains have gone this way you probably uh, it's a little bit more uneven uh, but more picturesque, I would say. Uh, you go through, uh, we'll just we'll say, walk along here for about uh, half a mile next to the road, next to me on the right. And then after that, head through the woods and Orton Head Common, which is a really pleasant place. There are a few places along there to stop. Uh, if you've got a dog with you, I'm sure they'll enjoy jumping into the stream. So let's go. Next stop will be the top of the small hill here, where we just uh, cross over from this field into the next, and then cut across towards Orton Head Spring. Well, there's no need to go on any roads or close to any busy roads walking this way. The thing with this walk is if you uh, either start your walk or, or find your way to the village of Purton by driving or you live there or live close by or indeed live in Hitchin and fancy a nice walk that's uh, what's it going to be between four and five miles long taking an hour and a quarter to an hour and a half through some really nice countryside you can of course make it a one-way trip such as this and go the other way on the bus. Uh, the 89 bus runs between Hitchin and Purton. Uh, I'm not sure what the regular current one-way fare is. I believe it's about £2.60, something of that order, if you were to take the bus in one direction or the other. Uh, it's currently capped at £2 until the end of June by the government, <clears throat> so presently £2. Um, and uh, it's not a particularly regular service, so you would have to look up uh, bus 89 Purton and it will give you the times to and from Hitchin. Uh, but either place are a good place to start a walk and a good place to finish your walk. Uh, personally, I would probably I would probably opt for the drive to Purton walk to Hitchin and then there's plenty of things there to occupy you while you're you're uh, waiting for the bus back <clears throat> for example I'm taking this is uh, it's around about 9 30 in the morning now going quarter to 10 maybe heading towards Hitchin and I'm going to catch the 11.55 bus back to Purton uh, I think there's another one at about 12.30 and then nothing for a couple of few hours until 
probably about three or four o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know off the top of my head, but you know, you do, it's not a regular service as such, so you do need to plan that into your itinerary if you're going to do something like this. I've picked the right way to go today as well because the wind is behind me and it is a slightly chilly breeze for May. But the sun is feeling quite warm now, which is nice. Right, so when you've walked the half a mile or so outside of the village of Perton, which you can see back there, and uh, Hambridge Way I mentioned is kind of running parallel or a bit of a, uh, probably about, uh, two, I don't know, 100 degrees angle away from us. No, less than that, what am I talking about? 70 degrees, 70 degrees of angle away from us. Uh, you get to the top of the hill here, Again, there's a little road off, which we'll come to in a moment, a little footpath off to the left there that takes you towards West Mill, that I previously mentioned. And uh, you can walk off over towards, uh, past High Down towards Deacon Hill and Pegston in that direction. Uh, it, is, <laughs> it is actually quite a wide footpath once you get it's very overgrown at the moment because it's uh, middle of spring and everything's growing very quickly but that says there public bridleway 28 west mill one mile and it says there Purton half a mile so that's probably about right but if you have ignored both both of those two and ignore going on this road you can come down this way along this farm track and where we're headed is just to the left of that tree across uh, once we get to the edge of the ploughed field <clears throat> uh, you can walk across that um, that area there where it's just been allowed to grow for the uh, presumably for all the benefit of the insects and so on uh, over to Horton Head Spring. Again, avoiding the the road. I noticed on the Go Jauntly app, which is an app I use a lot, at the point back there, it does actually it does actually send you onto the road. It doesn't recognise this footpath here. Uh, I'm not sure if this this bit I'm walking on now is officially a, officially a public footpath or not. There's no sign for it, but as you can see there, it's well trodden, well used by many people. And as far as I'm aware, as long as you don't go trampling all over the farmer's crops, I don't think there's going to be any problem with you walking along here. I've walked along here many times and uh, certainly I've never been... Uh, never had the thought that I ought not to be and of course it's the safer alternative it may be it may be an official public footpath there's just no sign pointing down here any longer I've, I've certainly never seen one all right so once you've uh, come down this nice little pathway this used to be just uh, short grass across here actually. It's still pretty much a defined footpath. A lot of um, these uh, bushes and so on that have been planted are, are quite recent really. It's been put in in the last year or so. Grown up very quickly actually. It's not that long since I came down here. It's probably middle of winter. Just uh, we're going away from the road, uh, being parallel to the road now, and we'll be in the the woods of Orton Head Spring and Orton Head Common very shortly. And uh, this is where we this is where the water miraculously appears from the ground. 
uh, forms a nice little stream that we follow all the way into Hitchin. Chalk stream. It's come from the Orton Head Spring, which is directly under my feet now. Oh, I do wish people wouldn't leave their litter behind. And here is Orton Head Spring. You see the water bubbling up from all over the place. Mostly from under the under the brickwork there. A lot of the water gets filtered away by a, um, a, wa a little water plant just up there that uh, takes some of the water, feeds it into local water supply. But thankfully, they let some of it carry on down here. It's quite low actually at the moment. I was, I was here a couple of months ago. Admittedly, that was uh, still just at the end of winter and the water was a lot higher. It doesn't normally get much lower than this even in the heat of summer. Try not to let your rubbish end up in the water, whoever's, you know, there's a Coke can there, water bottle up there, really no need. You had the energy to bring, bring the bottle here in the first place, or the can, take it back away with you again. You don't leave it here, honestly. On the whole, though, it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty good. There's not too much litter and so on down here. You get a lot of dog walkers along here. It's great great for walking your dog. Of course, they love jumping in the water, or some of them do. And um, it's a strange thing. Whenever I come down here, there's a particular spot further on along where there's some seats, you can sit there for a while, let your dog run in and out of the water. And I'm not quite sure what it is about these dogs, but whenever I come along, they come straight out of the water, stand next to me and uh, shake, uh, shake the water all over me. Uh, yeah. I don't take it personally though. This is probably about half a mile through the woods. And then it uh, opens up into more of a more open air common. Uh, there's two levels here as well. There's this level down the bottom, right next to the water, or you can walk at a slightly higher level up there. Down here can be extremely muddy and sometimes impassable in winter due to the height of the water and then it comes to an end in places such as just there so we've got to go up a little bit it's a good place for kids to come and run around as well because there's lots of little bits you can run up and down and hide and play, hide behind the trees and so on not come to any dog walkers yet oh huh. Have a light, here comes one now in the other direction. I knew it wouldn't be long before. This is an ideal walk if you live in the West Mill part of, of Hitchin. It's very quick to get onto this at the other end. Call me clumsy old fool, but um, I do see quite a few people actually jogging along here, and I'm partial to a bit of jogging myself. But I'll, I'll personally, I'll never come along here because uh, I'll I'll be tripping over all these 
uh, roots that are sticking up for sure I'll end up flat on my face without any shadow of a doubt I don't know how they do it I must drag my feet too much I mean here look I would uh, I'll probably not make it across this bit without tripping up on something Great place for photography as well if you just get the sun sunlight coming through the trees. Just at the right time you can get some fantastic pictures. It's not particularly great today, the light's not that it's not that good. And uh, the trees are quite full of leaves now. But certainly in, in winter time when there's not many leaves, there's a lot of leaves on the ground floating in the water. And you get that kind of frosty days with the sunshine coming through the trees. You can get some absolutely stunning photographs here. And the water's less green. It tends to be a, tends to be a little bit green this time of year. Not quite so crystal clear. <clears throat> Again, here's another alternative. I'm going to take the other route. Actually, it's quite muddy. Uh, this way or back around here. The dog will almost certainly take the muddy route. <clears throat> I'm going to go this way now. So I guess we're leaving the area that would be referred to as Orton Head Spring into the Orton Head Common Local Nature Reserve now. So this bit's a bit more managed and looked after, a bit more of a defined footpath and uh, signs to let you know what's in here. What you may or may not be able to see. They're about, you can't really miss them, the long, the grazing English longhorns. This is the bit I mentioned where uh, dog walkers congregate quite a bit because the dogs like running in the water, somewhere to sit as well. And it's uh, an open clearing where you could pop down a blanket, whatever, and have a picnic. It's quite a nice little spot actually. And, uh, the more hardy or foolhardy maybe that uh, uh, youngsters that come here actually go in the water themselves but it is cold, very cold. Well, <laughs> Just having a little chat with the ladies there, letting their dogs have a swim in the water. And uh, one of them informs me that there's a group that regularly come down here, of ladies that is, uh, in their swimming costumes and actually go and sit in there. Uh, and then get out, dry themselves off and sit and eat, uh, drink hot coffee or soup or something to warm up again. All through the year. I've, uh, I've been down here many, many times and I've never, never witnessed that. But I've, uh, I suppose... Uh, if there's anybody watching this that knows when that happens, not that I want to particularly come down and watch ladies sat in the water there in the freezing cold, but uh, I'm sure it's an interesting sight all the same. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'll be doing that. Unless it's 20 Celsius or above, I won't be bothering getting in.
Uh, let's go and see if we can see some frogs, some frog spawn, longhorn cattle. moment I mentioned the fact I've not seen uh, any or many people walking the dogs uh, uh, suddenly loads of them so yeah it is popular along here and uh, very pleasing to note that they uh, take away the, some of the dog mess or all of it local nature reserve or dead common you may or may not be able to see from this point. Longhorn cow, pipistrol bat, Roselle's bush cricket, marbled white butterfly, southern marsh orchids, emperor dragonfly, newts, uh, frogs, toads, bullfinch, yeah. I think you might need to stand here a little while to see all of those, but plenty of, uh, I don't know if that's going to come out on, on the video, <clears throat> but there's quite a lot of tadpoles swimming around in there. cattle have got to with all the foliage has uh, grown up now it's uh, it went into spring it's it's harder to see them it's, it's a lot easier in the middle of winter when they're out there <clears throat> can't see the cattle so I'm going to this is where you can go and get a closer look of them through this gate <clears throat> and walk across a diff slightly different route to Westmill, which is uh, a housing estate just over there. But today I'm going to continue on this footpath all the way down to the Bedford Road as opposed to walking through the Westmill housing estate, uh, which is better. Neither really, uh, you're walking through either a housing state or, or, or on a footpath next to a, a quite busy road in, until you get into the centre of Hitchin. So the choice is yours really. However, if you go via West Mill housing estate, there are a few shops up there if you need to visit one to get a drink or something like that. Just come into another nice little area that you can stop at, to take a rest, sit on the seats. Kids can run around, play poo sticks, dogs jump in the water and so on. Still very peaceful along here. Again, you can take that footpath there up into the West Mill housing estate <clears throat> and wind your way through onto the Bedford Road and into Hitchin itself. <clears throat> Going this way, it's slightly longer. You're not cutting through anywhere as such. You, you, uh, you're going in a 90 degree turn along here whereas that way you'd be crossing at 45 degrees to come out in more or less the same place in Hitchin so as long as you've got the time 
and feel like walking the additional distance, I'll definitely take this route. So we're coming to another little junction here and uh, just off to the right here is a turn off again into the West Mill Estate, just a different part of it. <clears throat> it's not a bad place to park if you drive into this part of Hitchin and then want to come down here. Uh, that's back off towards Purton and then the other route would be up here through the old mill and onto Hambridge Way and back to Purton. That was the other route I mentioned at the beginning of this walk. It's uh, clearly marked on there. As I say, I'm going to carry on this particular way, which takes you down to the Bedford Road and a right turn, and just follow the Bedford Road into into Hitchin Town itself. Right, well, here we are at the end of uh, Orton Head Common Local Nature Reserve. Uh, I've probably walked um, approximately two miles from the Spring Head to here on Bedford Road. The total walk into Hitchin is coming this way at least, is around about three and a half miles, I should say. <clears throat> so now we're going to walk along the quite busy. Bedford Road into Hitchin itself. Uh, the walk from here into the town centre is probably about three quarters of a mile. Just coming up on the right hand side is the West Mill Estate, which was one of your alternative routes what can I say this is a busy road that's a housing estate there's less traffic up there take your pick really I kind of prefer walking along here So we're almost into town now, probably half a mile to go. <clears throat> now, if you, if you came off the footpath and went through, decided on the housing estate option, you're probably gonna come out just at this mini roundabout up here. And you'll pass the uh, West Mill shops. There's a pub just on the corner here. Are the Angel's Reply, is it called Angel? I'll see in a sec. Oh, just called the Angel's now. Uh, serves food, drink. Just around the corner here is a, a row of shops. Uh, you'll find your local uh, butcher, baker and candlestick maker. Or, well, there's a butcher and a baker anyway and a couple of convenience stores and a chemist and a post office so it's probably not a bad place if you're gonna drive along to Hitchin and you want to park at this end of things to come and park somewhere in this general vicinity on the right here and uh, you've got also the facilities of the pub the shop 
and so on at the beginning or the end. The bus I mentioned, the 89 bus, can be taken from here. The bus stops there. It comes on this route, but ultimately it starts in Hitchin Town Centre itself on, on Bancroft. I forgot to mention the bookies and a fish and chip shop as well and an Indian uh, takeaway. There's your butchers and your bakers and a Chinese there at the end I do believe. Is that Chinese? Yeah, Chinese. Oh, yeah, not a bad place to start on the edges of Hitchin Town. Right, so after passing the West Mill Estate on the right and there, a little shopping centre there, uh, you can cross over the Bedford Road head over this grassy area called Butts Close. That's the Hitchin swimming pool, which should be preparing itself to open up uh, the outdoor pool for the summer. They usually do that round about the half term holidays in May through to about September, just after the end of the school summer holidays. And a very nice outdoor pool it is, though it gets extraordinarily busy on warm summer's days. <clears throat> Uh, so if you're planning to ever go there and it's a nice day go early go very early and bag yourself a half decent spot by the pool uh, this area this open land uh, to my knowledge at least twice a year has a fun fair one of the traveling fun fairs visiting otherwise it's just a green open space most of the time And long may that continue. I'm sure the uh, I'm sure the developers have got their eye, eye on this. Let's hope they don't get their way. Anyway, we're very close to Hitchin Town Centre now. Just going to walk the rest of the way in. Show a bit of footage of the centre, uh, town centre. See what's going on there today. And then that'll be that. That'll be my nice little walk for today. Few little errands to run while I'm here in town and then I'm going to jump on the bus back home. So thanks for watching. Uh, there is an app I use, I didn't use it for this because this is area is local to me but there is an app I use called Go Jauntly whereby you can be in a place and put in that you like to do a circular walk in that place or an A to B so for example like today, you could put in Purton from Hitchin or vice versa, and it will pretty much bring up the route I've just taken. Although, like I say, back, back along, there are a few little anomalies with it that uh, only a local possibly would know, but it does, it does kind of instruct you to walk along that busy road uh, where I, I did mention it at the top of the hill, quite near the beginning, when you can walk along the footpath it's not quite clear whether it's uh, officially a foot, public footpath or not that, that bit there if you remember that <clears throat> uh, but uh, like with most things it's quite good to improvise and use these apps as a guide rather than an absolute definitive way of getting from A to B the app's good uh, in relation to say Google Maps which will probably even if you uh, click on the, the button for walking will probably send you along a road as opposed to a public footpath and not across fields the way or through woods like we've come today so uh, it's worth having apps like that if you want to make the best of your walks google maps is great but specifically for walking or cycling apps such as go jauntly uh, which is specifically for walking are by far the better and uh, if you pay a, a quite a modest sum for their premium services your enjoyment of the app will be that much more I'm not paid to say this I've just uh, I'm just saying what I find from using the app and being one of their customers happy walks here we are in Hitchin I'll pop on 
anything interesting that I find from here on in. And I'll see you again in the next one. Just as an aside, um, just thought I'd pop this on the end. It's got absolutely nothing to do with um, going for a walk. But you know what? Sometimes you, you come across people in your daily life and you think, what are you even doing? I've <clears throat> just been in that chemist. It's a Lloyd's chemist on Bancroft in Hitchin, Hertfordshire. Don't go in there. Absolutely appalling. The, um, the guy in there, I, and this isn't the first time I've been in there, so it's not a one-off having a bad day type thing. It's got to be the most miserable po-faced person I think I've ever come across. And I've come across a few in my time, I can tell you. So, uh, yeah, if you need a chemist in Hitchin, avoid that place. They've got a second, uh, a second shop just near Sainsbury's up here. Uh, I don't know if that's any better. I've been in there a few times and uh, I'd say probably not. Um, if anything, go back to the chemist up at Westmill. Very friendly in there, very helpful. Can't do enough for you. And if they haven't got it, they'll get it. And um, yeah, but uh, these chain ones, absolute joke. And that place, really, honestly, he's got a nice haircut, but that's about it. He's, uh, miserable miserable as sin and i've been going in that chemist probably for the last 20 odd years and i uh, just happened to pop in there today to get something because strangely i forgot to go in the chemist at west mill earlier on so i just thought i'll pop in there and uh, it's no change absolutely dreadful so big big shout out to the appalling lloyd's chemist in hitchin uh, there's their other one i'm not even going to bother going in because i don't need anything anymore to be fair, that other Lloyds did have actually what I needed. This is where the 79 bus both picks up and drops off at in Hitchin. On, uh, drops off at the other side of the road there. Picks up just here. Oh, I've got about half an hour to kill, so I'm off for a coffee. As I said before, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you like it. Uh, click like, that kind of thing. And uh, I'll see you again on another one.